What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Welcome to 2020 once again. Um, pretty much, we have another episode of what is called Animate. And I believe Cordell Reed is the name um, that pretty much gave me this name for this series. So shout out to you. You are part of something great. Now, I'm very excited to give some respect to one of my favorite Hunter x Hunter vid uh, videos. To one of my favorite Hunter x Hunter characters, which is Uvajin, which is just a powerhouse of pure badassness. Yo, I <laughs> yo, you gotta watch Hunter x Hunter. Like, I'm gonna be throwing some clips up, like, right now. Good game, but can you back it up? You see, like, it's just crazy of uh, just the sheer strength of this guy. Uh, he doesn't care about nothing, but he's always looking for the next fight, just getting into trouble, and he just thinks he's strong enough to get out of anything, and I got a certain chain character. She'll pay with your life! That kind of puts him in check. Which is, uh, I mean, we always thought she he was a she at first until you actually watched it. But you know, I'm talking too much about it. You just gotta watch Hunter x Hunter. Make sure you check it out. But Uvajin is definitely a powerhouse character. And we want to focus today on building the chest and the shoulders. When you look at his physique, he's a big physique all around. Just this crazy caveman, hard body physique. And I just wanted to pick... Um, two pretty much muscle areas to focus on from this body that you would possibly say, oh, you know, I want that from him. So we're gonna work on the chest and the shoulders. Mm. And uh, <laughs> you guys are gonna go enjoy this video. So let's get started. Follow my TikTok. How about we see what's stronger? Your silly grudge or my body, huh? My life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. California! All right, all right. Welcome back. We're going to start off with bench press. We're going to have three warm up sets before we get to our actual working set. Now, with the three warm up sets, usually I do like the you know, 135. I go about 45s. So that's just my thing. You know, if you want to go about 25s or 35s until your working set, then you do that. But my working set was around about 80% of my uh, one rep max and um, 85 to 90% of my one rep max. And I started with 135 for about 12 to 15 reps, uh, 225 um, I'm doing for about 8 to 10 reps, I believe, and then 315 for like 4 to 6 reps, some around those numbers, um, but you'll see you're watching in the video right now. And continuing on, we end up with 405 to start with the working set, but not only are we working with 405, we're working with 50 pound chains. Now, if you guys don't understand what chains do, they increase the amount of weight as you're lifting the load off of your chest, right? So at lockout, on lockout, that is about 505 pounds. Those are 50 pound chains on each side. So that's extra 100 pounds. So at 405, we have 505 now. Now, with 505 at the top, the weight decreases as you bring it lower to the chest, right? So it's, making, it's, it's getting a little easier, you're getting control, and, and when it comes to chains, it's a very in control um, movement. And once it gets to the chest, it's pretty much maybe like 420. And then as you explode it up, the weight gradually gets heavier as you're pressing it up, as you're pressing it up, because the chains are now coming off the ground. Right, so that's the main purpose of the chains. And what I like to do with the chains, I don't really do like rep repetition stuff um, with chains. I just do one rep, um, one reps each set for the chain. So I did five sets of one after my three sets. And then on top of that, you're gonna love this. You guys are gonna love this. This workout, this, 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 this exercise alone is just gonna fire you up. On top of that, we did a drop set. So we take the chains off, now we're repping 405. Boom. Now we're repping 315. Boom. 225, 135, and our chest is fired up for the rest of the exercise.
on, we're going back into a heavy lift. Now, what is that heavy lift, you may ask? The dumbbells. The dumbbells, I always have to have a, a something back to back. Either I have a barbell day, a dumbbell day, or I have them both together. Today, I chose to have both of them together. If you want to build a structured, um, you know, muscular chest, the dumbbells are always the better option. Personally, to me, and I feel like it's been like proven as well, but they um, require more muscle fibers to be activated, right? Because you, now there's not one single bar for your body to have. You have every 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 arm, each arm, each side of the body has its own weight that it has to carry. And um, we went heavy, man. We went pretty heavy about, we went pretty heavy about 10 sets. I mean, 10 sets, wow. Four sets, we did first set of 10, second set, second and third set of six, and then the last set of 20. And the reason of that 20 is because we've all worked um, that heavy, crazy, those uh, muscle fibers, and now we're gonna pump it out and really push that endurance for the chest because we need that strength and we need that endurance to carry on as well when we do our workouts. And I like to add on some type of burnout or high repetition at the end of exercises, um, just like the burnout I did for the bench, um, just to get more of a workload in my workout. Now, next up, we have the incline plate press. This is for more so for continuing on with the building the chest, that inner chest, pushing it up. You're building so much like um, like blood flow going on just from that 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 prayer. So I call it the prayer press. You just make your hands like this, and you're really just squeezing it in, squeezing it in. And we did that for about I got my like my notes here of the workouts and stuff. <laughs> did that for about 12 to 15 reps. Um, for four sets, um, something great to add mid-workout when your chest is just already activated. You're feeling it, and it's all about feel right now. If once you're starting to feel it, then you want to continue that on. And for me, a lot of times that helps me continue on and push that. Like, oh, like I, I like how this feels. I want to keep it up. And I'm like, I don't pretty much waste time on my rest times. And a lot of you ask for my rest times, and with stuff like this. So with heavy weights, one to two, one not one. Yeah, now one to two minutes, maybe a minute, 30 to two minutes for heavy weights. And then for sets like this, it's like 45 seconds to like a minute. And um, those are my, that's pretty much what I go by from everything. Or just when I feel like I can get it again, pretty much. And with that could be like, heck, 20, 25 seconds later, you know, uh, except for heavy weights. Heavy weights is always gonna be a minute, 30 to two minutes. Um, for the rest time. So there's the rest time. Keep that in mind for everything that I'm doing. Um, so that is that. But yeah, this is the prayer press or the plate press um, for you that you can do to really activate um, striations as well, like to really just build that that huge buff, rust, rust swole chest. I was kind of feeling rust swole at that moment when I was doing these, even though I can't build my chest like that because this chest is immaculate. It's crazy. Shout out to you, Russ. Good job, buddy. So next up, I'm sorry that these are kind of blurry. I couldn't really see, um, you know, when I was filming myself and these just came out, um, the, the video just came out kind of blurry, but we're doing the mid cable, um, mid cable flies. And for these, we're really just focusing on tempo. You know, slow and control, slow squeeze, squeeze it really hard, good contraction, and coming right back down. Because you see like his chest is very, it's very wide. It, it comes like all the way out here. You know what I'm saying? He has a very solid build amongst the outer lines of his chest. And then you have that, you know, that hair, that taco meat on the inside. But still, we want that separation on the inside and we want that nice swoop on the outside of the chest. So doing these uh, flies, whether it's decline, mid to high, um, they really help develop that, keep together your outer, outer sides of the chest. So moving on, now we have standing shoulder press. All right, I wasn't, I mean, I didn't want to really push it too much because I already did a lot of um, aggravation on the shoulders um, due to the bench press. So we did shoulder presses. We start, started out with about 10 to 12 reps, um, just for a little like a warm up set. And then my working set was about, 
three sets of five right after that. So it was 10 reps and then three sets of five right after that, still building, you know, some volume from the warm set, but really pushing through it. Um, my shoulders are kind of fatigued. I, I even had to go down and wait, put the ego aside, go down and wait. I know a lot of you would probably be like, oh, that's Toronto, it's only, that's like 155, you know what I'm saying? What's the occasion? I'm like, bro, like, hey, bro, I'm, the seeing ass is killing, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. 155 is all I can do for five reps. So, if that, if that's all I can do for you. But, I mean, I, 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 I mean, that's that's what you get, you know? I'm sorry. But I still killed it, though. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, first set of 10, three sets of five right after that for the barbell shoulder press. Make sure you're keeping that. I kind of tripped a little bit because I didn't tighten my core. So, make sure you keep that tor core, tor core tight as you're pressing. Get those shoulders down. Push that head through. So not push like the head through, just like make sure you get that overhead, right? And then bring it back down. And then uh, second to last exercise. So now we have an incline chest supported shrug and we are supersetting it with rear delt flies. Now the chest supported shrugs I have found to really activate my, sh my uh, traps a little bit more. There are a lot of things that I do for my traps that I just don't feel. When I do regular shrugs, I don't know what it is, but I just can't get the, the, the squeeze that I want to to really feel it all the way up into my freaking brain. And with the chest supported shrugs, I feel like it takes out a lot of sway, a lot of extra like, you know, knee bounce movement. It's just all shrug. So it's what my traps or whatever my rear delts and my back can pretty much pull. And I was able to use the hundreds and still pump out about like 10 to 12 reps. Uh, we're doing four sets and then to push it even further, the rear delt flies, which is very needed, especially if you want to keep your shoulders um, intact. When I mean intact, it's like doing like pull-ups, muscle-ups, um, stronger shoulders for benching, which you need because you don't want your shoulders to round forward um, with a lot of front delt activation. So working on the shrugs and as well as bringing it back, having the um, supinated palms, um, pushing, pulling back with the uh, with the flies for the rear delts it's a really good um super set for you to uh, really just uh, top off the shoulders but actually top off shoulders. i'm just gonna leave it at that and to end everything i did a full-on drop set of 20 reps 10 reps 10 reps 20 reps now what this is, is i start with a heavy weight which was a 25 for for 20 reps right and then i go down to a 15 did the 15 for 10 reps and just really because with the 15 you can focus more on that squeeze than you did on the 25 rep on the 25 um weights that i had so i'm focusing on those squeeze a little bit more and then from the 10 i go back to the 25 now it's about just pumping it again boom 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 10 reps and then on the last set back to the 15 and we're going 20 reps just really pumping it out so once again 20 reps with the 25, 10 reps with the 15, 10 reps with the 25, 20 reps with the 15. And that was done for two sets. And that was all to finish the today's exercise. And you guys will be swollen up, I promise you, yo. This exercise was great. I felt great right after it. Uh, I love when I do exercises that I actually like really put my all into and I had come back to the house and get to uh, show you guys um, pretty much. So, and I hope that the same feeling that I got, the same thing that you got as well. If I gave you a number, which is like 10, and you can do 20, then you're at the wrong amount of weight. If you if you're at 10, you should be you should barely be able to do 12. 12 should be the max number that you could do, right? So those that's that and you have to think about that when you train heavy, even mid-range reps and volume and stuff. Sometimes you have to think about all right, what's I I if two 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 reps shy, two reps shy is the weight that you should be using. All right, so I got if my reps is six, I should be two reps shy. Of, I mean, which would be eight. And eight should be the max number that I could do with that amount of weight. And you're, you'll be using the correct weight. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, definitely check out Hunter x Hunter. Overgen such a badass. It's going to take a while to get to that point, but it's worth it. I I promise you, especially for the last arc. Oh, my gosh. The term, the Chimera. Eh, oh, I swear. I swear. It's bomb. Watch it. 
check it out. Also, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath. Um, programs are definitely in the link in the description, aclan.fitness. Also, for online training and one-on-one -on -one training in North Hollywood, email me at T-E-R-R-O-N 2311 at gmail.com. Catch you guys later. Follow my TikTok. Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle